Hi. <laughs> this is so weird. This is the Shakespeare telescopic kit. Now, you've probably seen multiple videos on this, and if you haven't, I don't know where you've been. Because I've seen like 30 videos on it. But anyway, I'm doing a video on it. Because I was at Cabela's today, and I saw this thing. And it's fucking dope. So I'm just gonna, I'm gonna open it, and then we're gonna fish with it. So yeah, we'll just fuck off. Boom, proper lighting. Now you can see this thing. And that's how you open it. No. What the fuck is this top thing for? There's this giant little bulge here that I don't think houses anything. Aha. Aha. Open without any trouble at all. Oh, there's a lot more stuff in there than I thought there was gonna be. Alright, first of all, we got just a bunch of stuff. Also, I do like this little carrying tray. I'm probably gonna use this a lot. And I'm not gonna take anything out of here because this is, I'm gonna be trying to fish, to catch fish, just on this rig. No extra things. Let's look at the reel. Now this was only $20. This this set was only $20. So I'm not expecting high quality things. So we got the reel. This is just your standard fucking reel. Probably made in a sweatshop. Alright. This is the reel. We have the rod. And I really... Why do I like this also? Because it's cheap. That's why. That's why I like this. Because it's cheap. And that's not the only reason, but it does help a lot. This is a small rod. It's shorter than my wingspan. Oh. Well, I'm with so pale right now. Alright, there we go. And this is how I string a rod. Dennis Rodman. Ooh. This drag is terrible. There we go. That's decent drag. By the way, if you're trying to string this, don't just leave it hang. Bite it. Because I need to pull it tight. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. If you're wondering why there has been no video this week, or this month, or this year, I'm filming this in, what is it, Feb, yeah, it's February. In Wisconsin, there are only two seasons, winter, oh, I guess there's only one. Alright, so this is a pretty narrow top too, but they have swivels in here, which Thank the Lord. Swivels are easier to use. But yeah, so this is the first video I'm recording this year. So this part's probably not going to be that funny. If you want to just skip ahead to the other part, that's probably going to be more funny. Because I'll have posted other videos by then. So, I will put a timestamp up for... Oh shit. My dog, my dog, my dog, my dog, my dog. This is... My dog, he's adorable, and he's food. Now my only dilemma is these weights. They are so tiny. It's just unbelievable how tiny these things are. Alright, now it's time for to put on the grub. Perfect. <laughs> Not really, but... Alright guys, so I'm here at... I'm here at Fort Gump, and I got my rod, the Shakespeare. Now, first of all, I just want to say how easy this, like, 
It's a four foot rod that compacts into two feet. Or probably even one, honestly. I, if you have to bike somewhere like I do to fish, I recommend this rod. It's very portable. Second cast of the day, and we got one. Little creek chub. And if you're... Yeah, I think... Yeah, this is a creek chub. If you're wondering why I'm using red, because it's very murky water and red seems to work here. So, but that was pretty quick. I'm surprised. I'm a little hesitant to call this a creek chub because of the pattern. It's like, it's not quite a bass's pattern, but it's not really a creek chub pattern. So we're gonna get this guy back in. instead. All right, so fish two hooked very well. That was, he got hooked like perfectly. All right, this guy is a creek chub for sure. Little longer than the first one, but yeah. So we are going to throw this guy back in the water and switch up our bait. This is a nice one, probably about six inches. All right. And the challenge is to, to only use stuff out of this little box. And I think we might, there's not a lot in here to be completely honest. I'm either gonna try the yellow grub or they have two flies in here, which are very intriguing. I might try a yellow fl fly. Yeah, screw it. I'm gonna go for the yellow fly. the day here by a hefty number wow -ee. this is one of the bigger ones this is near eight inches <laughs> and god this is a big one all right this is going right back Are there are ducks here This guy, one of the smaller ones we've caught today. Probably four or five centimeters or an inches. God. So we're gonna switch this out and see what they like better. Do they like this one better? 
or do they like the green one better? I've caught more fish in thi this video than I have in some of my other videos, like the Lucky Roulette Challenge. What? Look at those ducks. I have never seen a duck here, so I'm kind of surprised, by the way. I know it's... I've seen ducks before, just... Not this many and not here. The ducks are getting way closer. What What do you want from me? They're, if they get in shot... Alright, so that's going to end it. The last bait just didn't work. Wasn't landing anything. So... Yeah, I... Honestly, I rate this, I rate the Shakespeare Telescopic Kit 4 out of 5 stars. And why do I only rate 4 out of 5 stars? Alright, so quick thing. I did a terrible job explaining this, so I'm going to do it now. Basically, I gave it 4 out of 5 stars because towards the end it just started, it just started nesting and like, basically getting all tangled and stuff, and so it was really hard to work with. So that's why I give it 4 out of 5 stars. It was good, but not great. If it stopped getting tangled, it'd be great. So, yeah. Bye, go to the